Amanda with Heart Studios. Thank you so much for tuning in on another episode of Visiting Artists Around the Country. We are so lucky to be here today, and I can't wait to introduce you to Nathan. But before we get there, for those of you who are watching who don't know about Heart Studios, I'm the founder, and we exist to break the generational cycles of abuse and trauma by transforming the heart through creative expression. And our goal is to partner with artists like Nathan or some of the other ones that you've seen to have them come in and share their creative talents with the youth that have been impact impacted by domestic violence, abuse, and trauma. If you're local to Nashville, you've seen his work. What you see behind us is one of his pieces, but we are just going to dive right in and get to know Nathan a little bit more and what has inspired his creative work. So thank you, Nathan, so much for being thank here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, Nathan and I met a long time ago. Actually, we just figured it out. It was 10 years ago when I just moved to Nashville and did a show for artists. And so since then, Nathan, what have you been up to? Well, I've been painting a lot. <laughs> I've been painting all over the world. Um, I, I mean, I've got a, I have a, quite a few murals around Nashville, but uh, the past few years, or actually the past 10 years, um, five properly I've been painting murals all over the world. Well what really got you started? What inspired you to go the mural route and not like a corporate world route? Well I did the corporate world route. Uh, I was a concert promoter and a marketing director for a few corporations and I was in the branding world for, for 15 plus years um, but I do have a graffiti background so I grew up painting graffiti and art was just always there. It was something I always played with and messed with and it was just an outlet. Um, nothing I really ever took serious, but one day I got a really cool opportunity with a client of mine and uh, they needed a, a graffiti type mural in a venue and I did it, took it, took the job and got paid really well and it just sparked uh, an idea and I was kind of ready to maybe get out of the, the marketing world and, and branding world and was looking for something different and it just, just hit me. And within a few months, I was able to quit everything, quit my day job, and go full, full-time mural artist. Within a few months? Within a few months. I had to. I had to make a choice. <laughs> That's pretty unheard of, though, to be able to just completely quit your full-time and make art a full-time career. What really was the passion and the drive behind that, that you were able to make it so successful? I mean, I was definitely determined to figure out my next career move. Um, I wanted to do something creative. Art has always been an incredible outlet, and so when I had that one opportunity, that's literally all it took. And within a few days, I built a website with anything with the portfolio work that I've done in the past, which wasn't much, but it was the start of like my next few years. <laughs> so you've been saying basically the key word um, that that coins sort of what the Heart Studios mission is all about, and that's an outlet, a creative outlet. And yes. basically, our goal is to be a platform for these kids that have been impacted or living in some pretty severe situations, whether it be um, that they're being abused at home or that they're going through a situation maybe in the foster care unit or even the pandemic. That's traumatizing for kids these days. And they don't have a place to go to express themselves, to have their stories be told. And you're able to do that through art. And you've made a career out of it. Let me ask you this. Nathan wasn't always a graffiti artist, a professional graffiti artist. There was a journey that got you to that that point. What would you say was a part of that journey? I mean, like I said, art has always been an outlet for me. It's, I mean, it, it is therapy. If I had a bad day or just going through something or whatever it was, or just needed to kind of like take a brain break, art was always there for me. Um, you know, I never thought I'd be doing it professionally. I would, you know, everybody hopes that they could do something really cool and creative. Um, but it, it was just something that was always there that wasn't always been a creative outlet. Um, I had many like artistic creative outlets whether it was like DJing or producing music and also I was like a, a semi-pro skateboarder for a long time and, and that's always been an outlet and it turned into something more and usually like anything that I've been into especially creative outlets um, I kind of go full force into it and I usually have to figure out how to either make a living or afford to do it because art can be expensive Hobbies can be expensive, um, but yeah, I mean, to me, art is therapy. It is still therapy, even though it's a job. I don't feel like I have a job. It's not, I don't even think about how I care if I work 100 hours a week compared to like 20 hours a week in the corporate world. It's, it's, it's everything to me. You, know? it, you even had other forms of 
forms of art, quote unquote, DJ, music, skateboarding. Like that to me is an art. It's an artistic form to oh, be yeah. riding, riding the pine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so that's really incredible that you were able to just capitalize on all of that. And then all of a sudden, let me say, all of a sudden, it yes. fell into your pocket professionally. And that's a, that's a huge thing that I want to speak into because at the studio, again, we're going to be working with kids that are going through this program where they're working alongside an artist such as yourself and you're able to mentor with them. And it's going to be this organic healing process. They're coming to us from all different degrees of hurt. We you know, will know what their background is, but we won't know to the extent of where their heart is. And from point A to point C, their journey is just going to reflect healing across the board. And it sounds like you've had that where you're able to like look back at when you first started to where you are today and just see the journey that you went through. Yeah, I mean, it's it's been five years of full-time your work. And like I said, within a few months of getting one opportunity, it literally only took one opportunity. You know, that could have been um, a mentor giving somebody an opportunity or just, you know, in my case, it was, a, it was a client of mine from the corporate world giving me an opportunity because they knew of my graffiti background. And that's literally all it took. This is, a, this is a gifting of yours. You, but this is a true gift. I love coming around and seeing your work and I've been able to follow it for the last 10 years. Um, but what would you say is the one thing that you're able to be able to give back to people with your giftings? Have you looked at it and said, wow, I can actually give this to somebody else? Oh yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely worked with Metro Schools over the years to do community type murals and having kids after school, they usually don't have a place to go, um, giving them something productive to do, uh, a creative outlet, even if they don't become artists, like just basically giving opportunities. Um, so there's things like that, like community-based murals, uh, working with, I did some work with the Boys and Girls Club out in Kirkusboro, um, doing just teaching some art class type stuff and kind of diving into the graffiti world and what I do for a living. And, you know, little things like that. I don't know what, you know, what kids have taken away from that, uh, what they've done with that. Um, I know like with the, this mural, like the Tennessee Immigration and uh, Refugee Rights Coalition, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of work with them. Um, everything from like you know, these really cool art kits for, for students and younger, okay. younger folks to do whatever they want with it, just have a creative outlet. Um, so I'm trying to like do things that give opportunity um, and let you know let, let the them students run with let, it. Let them run with it. and that's what they'll be doing is running with it because isn't that what the creative world is it's yeah. just taking something and then running with it and there's no right or wrong answer yeah. in art and that's amazing and and like he said we are standing in front of the tennessee immigration and refugee coalition and what he had told me about how he did it and what they've asked him to do and now what it's transformed into is just beautiful can you can you tell our viewers a little bit about that yeah so this this mural is inspired by migration movement um you know one of the main things we wanted to represent all the colors in the world um because this building represents the entire world you know people from coming from all over the world and all over the country um and you know this was created as a safe haven a place to start um a place for new beginnings and so there's a lot of movement a lot of color a lot of uh, bright vivid colors that just kind of create a really happy moment and it's a standalone building so it's visible from all corners and there's murals wrapping the entire building so it's meant to be a beacon of hope and a safe place and just that's a beautiful journey of not only what um, your history was and how you got here but then just the journey of how a mural can become what it is and what this building is today hearing how you've used um, you know what a client expressed what their need was and you were able to paint that journey on a mural and I would love I would love to know a little bit more about what that looks like for you when you're painting, when you're actually, whether it be with the brush or with the can, what are you feeling in those moments? Well, I mean, it depends on the mural and the projects. Some of my projects are a little bit more corporate, but when I have a lot of creative freedom and I like a full on, like, I do a lot of abstract work, so it's, it's, uh, it's not like I'm really telling a story, but I try to with color. Like this one definitely tells a story of movement, migration. You know, represents the, all the colors of the world. Um, this is like one of a handful that actually do tell the story. Um, and I usually, I, with every job that I do, every project that I do, I try to represent not only the client but the meaning behind it as much as possible. And I do put everything in every project that I do. I'm not here just to paint a mural and move on. I'm, I really want, I want to be proud of it. 
I want to represent, you know, it's, I mean, it's public art, so everybody's going to see it. So there's nothing to hide behind. I want to, you know, not only have my artistic expression up there, but also, like, represent uh, the artistic expression of mine, yeah. the meaning behind it. That's really good. And what a message to take to, you know, our kids, if you were ever to come into the studio and work alongside them, that's exactly what we want to do, is say that we want your creative expression to be expressed publicly in a safe way. And it's I know you have so much more to tell about your story, and I just I know that you're relating to the studio so much because of some stuff in your past. But that's exactly what we're you know we're here for. We're here to share stories. We're here to develop the creative world and hold hands together um, to find healing from trauma. And art is that. Have you found that it's worked in your life in that way? Oh, definitely. I mean, many times over. I mean, like I said, in general, art is therapy to me. It's always been there for me. It's always been an outlet. Um, you know, I've had things in the past few years. My mother passed away from cancer. And I was kind of in the midst of, like, really building this world, you know, painting murals all over. And, and once that happened, it, it became, like, full-on therapy and work. And so it was, like, the best thing. I'm glad. I mean, it, it was. It came at a good time. Like, me transitioning from one world to the next. To be able to paint full-time came at a really good time came in a really good moment in my life where I was able to dive into it. Dive into it and do as much as I can and just have it be like the ultimate outlet for everything I was dealing with. I'm dealing with loss and pain and suffering and and it, it literally became my therapy. And it was I knew that it was up to me to, to heal. I could only talk to so many people and do so many things, but having this outlet was everything to me. And, you know, it could have been anything, but mural work, graffiti, design work, and just drawing and sketching and all those things, um, it became everything. I love that. It could have been anything, but it became everything. That needs to be painted somewhere. That needs to be part of your banner. That <laughs> You're going to wave the flag on that one because, you know, we want to open a space where kids can come in after school or come in off the streets or be a safe haven for them to escape where they're at currently and just be that space for them and it sounds like you found it and you're like a walking spokesperson for our mission <laughs> it's just you're using it you used it as a hobby initially you found that it was working as therapy for you and went into it more and then you ended up having it as a profession and then you also felt the grief the pain the trauma and you were able to use this instead of an alternative to heal and that's really really inspiring Thank you for sharing that part of your story. Thank you so much. I would love to ask you one question. Yes. As a graffiti artist, because you are, you're painting these beautiful murals around the country and you're getting commissioned and paid to do so. There's going to be somebody out there watching this video right now that thinks that their outlet and their escape or even their way in is to graffiti, but maybe they're not doing it in the right way or shape or form or capacity. You got started somehow. If there was a piece of advice you could give that person who's watching, or even go back to like Nathan's 10 year old self, what would you say? Um, well, I mean, I did start out doing graffiti as an outlet. It was skateboarding, graffiti, um, those kind of went hand in hand. And yeah, it, you know, there is a gray area group with graffiti and it's not the best uh, form of an outlet, um, but it was an outlet and I had to figure out, you know, the course of a handful of years how to legitimize that outlet. Um, there is, yeah, graffiti is fun, it's it's exciting, there is a rush, but you will get in trouble. And there is consequences with, with that kind of stuff. And I just knew, after getting in trouble a few times, I knew I had to legitimize this passion of mine, this creative outlet that I needed. And that's how, you know, over the course of a handful of years, that's how I figured out how to, you know, do it as a living or do it legitimately where I was um, walking up to businesses and asking them if I could just paint their wall and you know for free um, you know at my expense or whatever just to have a legitimate creative outlet and because of that that turned into me getting paid for doing mural work and you know to this day and now it's become a trend like graffiti art is actually becoming the trend graffiti and art street art mural work yes. and it's uh, definitely a nice renaissance happening all over the world and I know that that's part of the reason why I was able, I've been able to paint all over the world the past few years. 
and been able to paint all over the country and, and make a full time living doing this. So that, that that that's I'm just I'm in awe with and inspired by you because you've been able to take this passion of yours and travel the world. You were saying you were just in Budapest for the longest time. Yeah. Like where else has this art form taken you? I I was in Budapest. I had a had a house in Budapest and I had a studio, an artist residency at the Budapest Art Factory, and that allowed me a space to create there locally. And then there's a lot of like street art festivals and mural art festivals and. I had some commission work, so it actually took me all over Europe, everywhere from Kosovo, Pristina, Kosovo, which is you know near Serbia, to Cologne, Germany, to you name it. Uh, I got to travel a good bit and paint murals everywhere. So everything you've told us so far, you have taken this hobby and made it a complete profession, and now you are doing it full time across the world. But I got to, I have to think on the side of the business owners. I have to think of what it's going to look like to ask somebody to come in and paint the side of my building. I'm ignorant, and I gotta imagine there's a lot of people out there that just assume you're coming in with a spray can and doing it, but I'm sure there's more to that. Can you just elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah, I mean, one thing I've had to do over the years is educate business owners, developers, anybody that owns a wall, basically, and, you know, people in general, um, especially, you know, in Nashville, like, this is uh, a newer thing to Nashville compared to other big cities, LA, New York, and stuff, and, and educating on the process, the cost, all the work that goes into it, from the designs to to everything, to ordering supplies, to organizing, to documenting it. It's, it's a big process, and it does cost a good bit. Um, so the, um, beyond like educating in the process of you know creating a mural, um, what it, what I've seen it do to a community in places that had no foot traffic or it was just a, an eyesore of a building. Um, I've seen full-on neighborhoods thrive and businesses thrive surrounding it. Businesses start everything from mural tours to walking tours to photography tours to in Nashville the Pedal Taverns, you know, doing their tour around and and creating uh, an interactive space where there was was none before. So there beyond just me painting a mural, it's something as simple as that. It's created communities. It's created interaction. It's created uh, you know a beautification moment. It's created uh, income for businesses and. And walking traffic and tourists and tourism and um, there's so many cool things that just something as simple as a mural can create. That's such an incredible vision to say you're actually changing communities for the better because a mural will, for lack of better words, clean it up a little bit and, and make it a little bit more artistic. And so that's awesome. That's an awesome viewpoint to have. So Nathan, thank you so much for sharing everything that you have done with art and just your journey personally. I know it's going to be super impactful as you develop this more around the country and become this this mural, this coveted mural artist. Um, and I know our kids are really going to resonate with your medium that you're using. And so thank you so much for being here today. Um, for those, again, of, of you that are watching who don't know, Heart Studios is just launched. So we are on a mission and a driving force this year to raise our capital to find our space. So if you feel led or you feel like this mission really reaches your heart, Feel free to reach out. We are consistently taking donations. You can do it on our website at www.heartstudios.org or there's opportunities to sponsor the studio. We'll have eight different opportunities to basically outfit each individual space. And what that looks like, we'll have an encompassed building that'll house the film and photography space, a fashion design studio, a floral design studio, um, visual art, we will have a dance studio that will be all types of performance art with theater and drama and spoken word and then you know from there we'll go into the music and songwriting and recording studios and so there's a, there's areas where you can as an individual or company reach out and sponsor those studios. And if that's not your cup of tea right now, maybe you're not able to financially support, but you are an artist or a creative profession of some sort, we are constantly looking for artists to come on in and share their unique giftings with our kids. So shoot us an email, reach out to us on our website, or even follow us at Heart Studios Org. And Nathan Brown, you can tell us where you're at. Uh, you can find me just at, at NathanBrown77 on Instagram mainly. And my website is just 1919ss.net. So thank you all for joining us. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here.